The Guardian News. No Stilton exports to Europe? That'll mean war, then. How quaint to see in Jamie Fahey's piece, Subditers are our first readers and last defense against errors, February 11, the phrase off stone, which must be the last link to an almost forgotten method of newspaper production. How many of the young subs even know what it once meant? Poor old printers. They were the first casualties of modern technology and this is their, head, stone. Wendy James, former sub. Cottenham, Cambridgeshire. Of course we'll accept the jurisdiction of the ECJ, Brexit deal will lock UK into European Court of Justice, February 11. The ECJ's main function is to arbitrate and trade disputes in Europe. If France refuses to import Stilton, what are we going to do otherwise? Declare war? Terry Leary. Dunchich, Warwickshire. Currants in pastry may be known as Devil's Nose in Wigan, we love to eat, family, February 11. Seven miles down the road in Lee, that's a singing lily and tastes all the better for it. Val Seddon. York. Ralph Wolf Cowan's Portrait of Donald Trump. Portrait of Donald Trump Photograph, courtesy of the artist Ralph E. Olf Cowan. Does the portrait of Donald Trump in sporting gear in the bar at Mar a Lago, Florida, page 21, February 11, make anyone else think of the work of Tom of Finland? Judith Martin. Winchester, Hampshire. Sign up to The Guardian today and get the must read stories delivered straight to your inbox each morning. Sue Jenkins, Letters, February 6, and Margaret Drabble may be mistaken in the cardboard dividers being in Weedabeek's packets. To my memory they were very useful for drawing or other crafts and came from shredded wheat packets 1 or 3 depending on the box size, 6s, or 12s. Regularity came before godliness in our house. Anne Ayres. Huthwaite. Nottinghamshire. I think you will find that the football commentator Archie MacPherson's nickname, Letters, February 11, was Shredded Wheat, a much more apt description of a hairstyle than Weetabix. Tim Nicholson. Little Neston, Cheshire. 